A couple of years ago, I deleted the majority of my social media accounts because I didn't like how they made me envious and sometimes even resentful of my own friends. I was conflicted. I wanted to seem cool in the eyes of my peers and therefore I spent a lot of time planning how I was to be seen. Yet when I realized that I was wasting a lot of time on these trivial endeavors, I made a decision that was in my best interest to go a different way. I miss the social aspect sometimes, but I've had a lot more free time to spend in person with my real friends, and I've had time to really figure out who I want to be and not who I want others to think that I am. More recently, I've been feeling conflicted again about how I've been spending my time and focusing my attention. A larger part than I'd like to admit of both my thoughts and of my time goes towards worrying about how my clothes look, how my body looks, and how my makeup and hair look. I'd like to talk about my hair for a little bit. It's been long, short, medium length. It's been brown, dark red, dark purple. I've had side bangs, blunt bangs, no bangs. And these days, I even carry a comb with me everywhere I go to make sure that they're perfect. I've gone from washing it every day to not washing it at all. I've curled it, straightened it, put it up, grown it out, crimped it. Feeling the need to have to keep up appearances is exhausting. But I recently had an idea. I've been asked, why? Why are you doing this? My parents still don't understand it fully. My friends are supportive, yet some of them are still skeptical, which is totally understandable. But please allow me to clear some stuff up. I'm doing it for vanity. There's a potential for some badassness up in here. <laughs> I'm doing it for ease. I would love to spend less time in the bathroom getting ready and to have more time to focus on important things like classes, art, personal relationships, etc. I'm doing it out of jealousy. I've always been secretly jealous of people who can pull off having short hair. The term wash and wear has never applied to me. More importantly, however, I'm doing this for some specific people. I'm doing it for the little girl who thinks that in order to be beautiful, she needs to look like the models in her mom's magazine. For the weird kid who wants to have short hair, but who doesn't need another excuse to be called a freak. For the young adult who isn't comfortable enough to come out yet, so she begrudgingly holds back her self-expression. And for a woman fighting for her life, one example being my mom, who felt like she lost her femininity along with her hair during chemo. That shit isn't fair. That shit isn't fair. I could say that I'm doing this to open the eyes of those closed-minded people who associate short hair on women only with sickness or with abnormal lifestyles. But I'm not doing this for those people. I'm doing this for myself and for women everywhere who are fighting every day to maintain normalcy. I want to tell them all that it's okay it doesn't have to be like that. I want to expand on what's considered to be typical and to support the notion that short hair can be in the domain of what's considered feminine, too. What I'm doing may seem silly, but to me, doing this screams freedom and demands power. I want to show everyone that I have this power and to show other women that they do, too.